Hi, my name is Shongda and today I want to talk about shutter speed. A lot of people misinterpret shutter speed with uh, frames per second. Mostly, yeah, frames per second of 24, 25 and 30th. And I actually went to a discussion before we uh, filmed the movie and they had like a um, director from Australia and that guy didn't know anything about movies at all or taking photos because I know uh, about taking photography uh, my lowest uh, what I can handheld is like 1 30th however uh, it's only not it's not going to be really great pictures it's going to be have a slight motion blur but it's still okay but then I have to re or for taking those kind of photos I really have to have the camera really holding very static so it does not move or actually on a tripod. So mostly if you want to do one thirtieth, I'll advise to use a tripod and not move the camera around. Basically the camera shake plus the person in the frame moving will cause extreme motion blur and actually give you really blurry images. Actually makes even though if the person is in focus it will show up as he is very, as that is more blurred than being really sharp in focus. So advice to, if you go really slow shutter speed for at night, if you don't have enough uh, lighting or you can't uh, bump up the ISO anymore, that you go even to one thirtieth, just don't move the camera at all. If you want to do handheld shot, I'll advise to do uh, 1 50th. Basically because 1 50th you can also take pictures of people moving around. Even like fast cars moving and just following them. You can take pictures of them with the car being in focus while the background is out of focus. Um, basically 1 50th does give you enough, um, yeah of a, a sharp and yeah just a sharp image without too much of a motion blur so it gives you a nice sharp details uh, overall and uh, add a little bit of uh, uh, motion blur in moving objects so and also you should avoid having too much uh, motion blur removed because then you get like really jumpy images, uh, which is a special effect for most of the fighting scenes or action scenes. However, if you are doing an interview or just a very peaceful scene, you don't want to see those jumpy images going around. So the advice to do handheld actually is also to keep your shutter speed between maybe 140, 150th to maximum of 180th or 100th that is mostly the region 100th is almost about the region where most of the motion blur goes away uh, anything above 100th you will get the jumpy effect for the action scenes so that was mostly about the shutter speed because yeah mostly if you do handheld, stick with above 1 50th. And you can do like um, shots of uh, interviews with the camera on a tripod and actually do interview with higher shutter speeds. However, you have to make sure that the person is not like moving his hands like crazy because then you will get like shocking movements of his hands and also you should not move around too much to otherwise you will get the jumpy effect. If he's not doing anything of those, you will get like a nice uh, depth of field look without having to use ND filters. So yeah, mostly my advice to stick with the shutter speed between uh, 1 50th to uh, 1 100th and, and if you uh, if the scene is still too bright, you should use a ND filter. 
mostly the best better ND filter is a um, ND fader, which you can have more control over it than having several different ND filters. Also, because ND filters, you have to probably stack several of them to get the right, um, yeah, lighting. But the better thing is also to have it slightly over uh, or underexposed with the ND filters and actually use the ISO to bump it a little up. So you have more room to play with the ISO instead of, um, yeah, trying to um, move the ND filter the whole time because weather is a bit unpredictable you can sometimes have like a cloud in front of the sun and sometimes have like full sun and just changes the whole camera setting the around and um yeah with an nd fader you can also turn to get it darker and lighter you can also build one by yourself buying uh several or two uh polarizers and stacking them onto each other and just by turning it will get darker and lighter however there are people saying there will be a color shift however the color shift is only in the very very high regions mostly um, those shutters or those regions you won't be using for filming at all because it's really dark and mostly it's used for uh, having really slow uh, or a long exposure photography of a street while everybody's moving so that the street looks empty so mostly you don't have to think about uh, that you will have those color shifts so but also online on ebay there's like for 50 bucks you can buy a cheap uh, ND fader so it's a um, yeah very simple uh, thing to buy it does have an effect that the quality is a little bit less uh, your images will get a slightly less sharp because it's a extra filter above your lens but it's a slight uh, decrease it's not a very extreme thing so mostly that was it and see you next time bye